It's the first week of a new year, and Russians are immersed in their Christmas spirit. Decorating the Christmas tree for the new year and Christmas is a totally magical time, and you're waiting for a miracle to happen. Christmas actually brings people together. On the streets of Moscow and in churches, people are openly celebrating Russian Orthodox Christmas. It's a seismic change considering that 25 years ago, before the disintegration of the Soviet Union, attending a Bible study class could result in a jail sentence. From the establishment of the Soviet Union in 1922, communist leaders sought to eradicate religion. Churches were destroyed and the faithful were watched and persecuted. Today's conditions for the church over Russia's 1,000-year-long history are the most favorable. I think this is the main feature of freedom in life. A man doesn't need to hide his religious beliefs. President Vladimir Putin has embraced his faith, routinely appearing at Christmas and other religious services. Analysts say he's used the Russian Orthodox Church to promote a so-called pivot to traditional values. But even as the church's status has risen, Putin has sought to ensure it remains subservient to the state. We can see understandable contradiction between uh, the interests of the church and interests of the state, like in case of Crimea. The contradiction is connected to the fact that Russian Orthodox Church is not only about Russia, it's about a much bigger space, including Ukraine. If the Russian Orthodox Church is enjoying a kind of renaissance, other religious groups can't say the same. Last year, President Putin signed a law restricting the promotion of religion. Natasha Ganem, Al Jazeera, Moscow.